Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Mitch and Nancy hang heads in shame as government watchdog exposes billions in congressional waste. The swamp strikes back and it is just as arrogant and wasteful as ever. An anti-government watchdog group just shocked the nation by releasing its annual pork barrel report. Both sides are guilty and both sides have been doing it for a very long time. They say it greases the wheels in DC and helps get things done, but to the average American it just looks shady. From Fox News, an anti-government waste group has identified millions of taxpayer dollars allegedly frittered away on absurd nature-related earmarks, including $9 million to quarantine fruit flies and $13.8 million to manage wild horses. Those revelations are inside the 2019 Congressional Pig Book released Wednesday by Citizens Against Government Waste. That report identifies what it describes as egregious examples of pork barrel spending in Congress, drawn from fiscal 2019 appropriations of bills. This year, the group said it identified $15.3 billion in earmarks, an increase of 4.1% from the $14.7 billion last year. Pushing pork does not drain the swamp and it won't restore integrity to Washington, Tom Schatz, the president of Citizens Against Government Waste, said in a statement. Schatz wrote in an open ed for Fox Business Network that perhaps the most flagrant earmark this year is $16.7 million for a research organization called the East West Center, added by Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz. His earmark represents the center's entire budget, keeping it alive even though its counterpart, the North-South Center, stopped receiving federal funding in 2001. The group's president said the East-West Center should be able to stand on its own without taxpayer support as well. The report identifies other pricey earmarks, including $65 million to help recover Pacific coastal salmon, $12 million to control aquatic plants, $7.9 million to purchase fish screens, and $863,000 to eradicate brown tree snakes in Guam. The fruit fly program apparently was resumed after a 10-year pause, further according to the report that the $9 million earmarked this year for this program represents a 1,819% increase over the roughly half million dollars set aside for fruit fly research, eradication, or quarantine a decade ago. It is also the third largest earmark ever for this purpose, the report said. Schatz said these examples show that earmarks still corrupt Congress, waste taxpayer money, and erode trust in government. The group advocates enacting a permanent statutory ban on earmarks. But the group attributes the recent increase in pork barrel spending to the 2018 passage of the Bipartisan Budget Act, which obliterated 2011 spending restraints. The group also ripped the seven earmarks totaling $1.8 billion for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, including eight Air Force planes, six Navy planes, and two for the Marine Corps. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.